Hi, library friends. I'm Miss Connie from the Hopewell Branch, and welcome to another episode of PJ Storytime. Are you ready for bed? I am. I have my bathrobe on, and my blankie, and I have my friend with me, Jack the dog. Jack the dog was my son's favorite stuffed animal when he was little, so he's going to sit in with us tonight. And we're going to read some stories and have some fun. And so I'm glad you're here. Let's get started. We're gonna start with our Say Hello song. Ready? Clap everybody and say hello, say hello, say hello. Clap everybody and say hello, no matter what the weather. This time we're gonna wave. Wave everybody and say hello, say hello. Say hello, wave everybody and say hello no matter what the weather. And we're gonna march, march everybody and say hello, say hello, say hello. March everybody and say hello no matter what the weather. And we're gonna wiggle, ready? Wiggle everybody and say hello, say hello, say hello. Wiggle everybody and say hello no matter what the weather. Good job, good job. Now we'll get on to our stories. So before we get started, I just wanted to say a big thank you to Macmillan Publishing, who has given us permission to read their stories while we can't meet in the library. And that's very generous of them. And all the stories I've picked tonight are related to Macmillan Publishing. So thank you to them. And we'll get started. So the first book tonight we have is Night Owl. Now Night Owl was written and drawn by Tony Yuli. And I just think that is the cutest little owl. Okay. This is the title page. Night Owl by Tony Muley. Okay, y'all ready? Night Owl likes to stay up late. He waves goodbye to the sun and hoots hello to the moon. Hoot. Then Night Owl looks all around. Did you know owls can turn their heads like that? Where is Mommy Owl? Huh. He listens. Tap, tap, tap. Is that Mommy Owl? Hmm. No, that sound is too short. Tap, tap, tap. What is it? Oh, it is woodpecker. Did you know that's what it was? It's a woodpecker. How about this? Toot, toot. Is that mommy owl? No, that sound is too long. What is it? Oh, toot. That is the train whistle. Night Owl listens very carefully. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Is that Mommy Owl? Chirp, chirp, chirp. Who chirps? That sound is too high. Can you see who is up on top of that tree? It is Cricket. Night Owl listens even more carefully. Croak, croak. Is that Mommy Owl? Who croaks like that? That is definitely not Mommy Owl. That sound is too low. That is toad. The sky is making noises. Pitter patter, pitter patter. What does that look like? Does it look like rain? Night Owl flies home and it says rumble, rumble, rumble. What is that? It's 
Is that the thunder? I think so. And then what do we have here and here? And boom, we have a big storm. Night Owl is brave, he is safe at home. He closes his eyes and listens. Hoot, is that? Mommy Owl, hoot. The nicest sound of all. And here they are together, just their little heads together. And that's the end. Isn't that a cute one? I like that one. Okay, next we're gonna do a little rhyme, a little math rhyme. We're gonna count down. So this is my mitt and I have five little monkeys. Do you know five little monkeys that jump on the bed? We're gonna do that rhyme and we're gonna count down as we go. So when we start, we have five little monkeys. Can we count together? One, two, three, four, five. Five little monkeys, ready? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped its head. The mommy called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. We had five monkeys, but one fell off. How many are left? One, two, three, four. Good job. So five minus one is four. Well, now we're down to four. So ready? Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped its head. The mommy called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So we had five minus two. How many monkeys are left? One, two, three. Three monkeys, that means five minus two equals three. Good job. You ready to sing? Here we go. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped its head. The mommy called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So we started with five, but now we have three hurt monkeys. Five minus three is how many? One, two, good job. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped its head. The mommy called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So we had five minus four equals how many? We have one left, ready? One little monkey jumping on the bed. It fell off and bumped its head. The mommy called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Good job, yay! You are good at math, that is awesome. All right, we're ready for another story. So we're gonna read Five Fuzzy Chicks. This was written by Diana Murray and illustrated by Sydney Hansen. So here is our title page, Five Fuzzy Chicks. And the first page, I'm gonna show you the scene. Can you tell where we are? Are we on a farm? That's so good. Yes, look at those pictures, aren't they beautiful? Okay, I'm gonna move a little closer so I can make sure you can see everything. So it says, out on the farm, it's been a long day. Sun setting low, night's on the way. Everyone's tired, all the work's done. But five fuzzy chicks want to run, run, run. So here we go. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Very good. What do we have here? Is that a cow? Do you know what a cow says? 
Cal says, moo. Ready? Five fuzzy chicks run past the plow, into the grass and under the cow. The cow says, moo, moo. The chicks say, cheep, cheep. But the grass is so cozy. <gasps> Look. One chick falls asleep right by the cow's hoof. Isn't that cute? All right, where are we now? What animal is that? Is it a piggy? What does the piggy say? Oink, 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 oink. Good. Four fuzzy chicks skip by the pigs, hop on a rock and dance silly jigs. The pigs say oink, oink. The chicks say cheep, cheep. But the moss is so soft. Do you see that moss? The chick falls asleep. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? So cozy. Okay. Where are we now? What is that? Is that a puppy? What does the puppy say? Woof, woof, woof. Good. Three fuzzy chicks dance in the clover. Hop past the fence and right over Rover. The dog says, woof, woof. The chick says, cheep, cheep. But the dog is so snuggly. You know what's gonna happen? One chick falls asleep. And if I put it up real close, you'll see its little tiny eyes are closed. So sleepy. Okay, where are we now? What was the horse says? What does the horse say? Nay, nay, good. Two fuzzy chicks skipping along, pass by the horse and sing him a song. The horse says, nay, nay. The chicks say, cheep, cheep. But the hay is so comfy. You know what's gonna happen. One chick falls asleep. You wanna see up close? Look at that sweet chick. Very sweet. Okay, where are we headed next? We're headed out to the sheep. One fuzzy chick out to have fun, hops by the sheep and counts every one. The sheep says, ba, ba. The chick starts to cheep, but before she can finish, oh my goodness, what happens? She falls fast asleep. Why, it looks like they're all asleep, doesn't it? Chick sleeping here, chick sleeping there. In the grass, by the stable, chicks everywhere. Mama hen hurries to gather her troop. She swoops them all up and runs back to the coop. So you can see Mama's down here and she's starting to gather her chicks, which are everywhere, remember? They're all over the farm. Here she is, she's got them all back. She whispers cluck cluck, the chips, the chicks whisper cheep. And their nest is so quiet, five chicks fall asleep. The end. That's another cute one, isn't it? Okay, we're gonna do a little rhyme. I have a special puppet here, and it, the rhyme is Hey Diddle Diddle. We're gonna do it three times. I want to explain to you my puppet so you can see what's going on here, because there's a lot going on. Now, technically, this is the moon, okay? Tucked in the moon, this is a very fun puppet, is the whole nursery rhyme, Hey Diddle Diddle. I have it memorized now, so we're gonna tuck that back in the moon, but if you didn't know what it was, you could put that down. So it goes like this. I'm just gonna tell it to you and show you all the cast of characters here, and then we're gonna say it together twice, okay? So it's Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat, and the fiddle. Fiddle's like a violin. The cow, do you see our cow? 
jumps over the moon. Here's our moon. The little dog, you see our doggy laughs. Ha, ha, ha. To see such sport and the dish ran away with the spoon. You see the little face on the spoon? So the dish and the spoon, okay? So I'm gonna say it one more time and then we'll do it together. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumps over the moon. The little dog laughs to see such sport and the dish ran away with the spoon. Okay, ready? Together, let's do it. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumps over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport and the dish ran away with the spoon. Last time. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport and the dish ran away with the spoon. Good job. Yay. Okay, last story for this evening. And our story is called, All My Friends Are Fast Asleep. The author for this is David Weinstone and the pictures are by, and it's, um, I believe it's a French artist and her name is Magali Lahouche. But I'm gonna put it close up in case you're interested because I'm sure I didn't say it quite right. I tried to find out how to pronounce it and, um, I wasn't able to find the exact pronunciation, but her artwork is very nice and I really enjoyed looking at this book. So if you ever wanna get it out, it's called All My Friends Are Fast Asleep and there's lots of things to look at in this boy's room. Okay, so I'm gonna scooch up a little closer again so I can read this to you. So here we're in his room and he's in bed, but you can see his eyes are open, right? And it said, it's time for bed and overhead the moon has risen high, but I can't seem to fall asleep no matter how I try. I toss and turn, I squiggle and squirm until I'm all worn out. A different place to sleep I need, of this I have no doubt. So, uh-oh, bed's empty and he's walking out the door. And where is he going? Let's see. So off I go to find a place to lay my weary head. Perhaps I'll find a friend or two to help me up ahead. My friend, the bat, sleeps in a cave, hanging by his feet. A bat I'll be, I say to me, <sighs> but still I cannot sleep. And let's see that picture close up. Look, he's hanging with his friend, the bat. These bats sleep upside down. Did you know that? But he still can't sleep. So where is he going now? Let's see. And horse, of course, sleeps standing up among the cows and sheep. A horse I'll be, I say to me, but still I cannot sleep. So he tries sleeping standing up like a horse does. He still can't sleep. Okay, so off he goes again and it says, so on I go to find a place to lay my weary head. Perhaps I'll find a friend or two to help me up ahead. Who is this friend now? Look at that. My friend, the whale, sleeps on the waves that gently roll the sea. A whale I'll be, I say to me, but still I cannot sleep. Can you see here? It's dark out, but if we get real close, he's up in the tree. And it says, the little lark sleeps in a nest high up in a tree. A lark I'll be, I say to me, but still I cannot sleep. The moon has risen higher and the stars come out in bloom. I hope I'll find a friend to help me fall asleep. And soon, So here he is underground and it says, my friend, the mole sleeps in a hole beneath a field of wheat. A mole I'll be, I say to me, 
but still I cannot sleep. So he's down in the hole and here's Mole. But he can't sleep down there. So, where is he now? Do you know what animal that is? Let's see. And Wooly Yak sleeps in the snow atop a mountain peak. A yak I'll be, I say to me, but still I cannot sleep. So on I go to find a place to lay my weary head. I know I'll find a friend or two to help me up ahead. He's back on the trail. Here he is, right here. You see where he is? He's on a log. Do you know what that is? I'll tell you. My friend the frog sleeps on a log beside a bubbling creek. A frog I'll be, I say to me, but still I cannot sleep. Ooh, do you know what that is? What do you think? And silly seal sleeps on the rocks along a sandy beach. A seal I'll be, I say to me, but still I cannot sleep. Off he goes. So off I go back to the place where I had gotten, where I had started from. I walked and walked and walked all night, but now my journey's done. All my friends are fast asleep from mountain tops to sea. A boy I'll be, I say to me, and shut my eyes to sleep. So boys and girls, it's almost time for bed and we're gonna finish with a quick song before we go. Are you ready? It's, it is, you are my sunshine. And I have this recording from Freegal which you can get from our website at mcl.org. And under our collections, you can find Freegal, and that is music. So here we go, you ready? Can you sing along with me? You are 